Right. Good evening. Aspirants for the examination, T.S. Genko, Assistant Engineer, Electrical Engineering. It is common for electronics and electrical engineering also. Right. So today's session, one hour, aim is to discuss the syllabus and strategy for preparation of the specified syllabus, newly incorporated syllabus, the concepts connected to the syllabus, and available previous year questions discussion, POQs discussion. Concepts, POQs. Yes. So Power Generation Corporation Limited. It, you can compare this job with AWE also. Compared to AWE, this job little bit more salary, no doubt. Suppose, AWE posting at Hyderabad around 85, 80,000, okay, uh, as per previous six months before that pay scales, okay. Now new scales may increase, but this is plus, or minus, plus 1 lakh salary, sure. So different perks, attractive job. Now, with respect to electrical engineering, the number of vacancies, general recruitment 145, limited recruitment 42, right? So around 187 number of posts per triple right, electrical engineering. Now this is syllabus. The syllabus is just modified when compared to old syllabus. Basics of power generation, steam power plant with respect to focus on subcritical, critical and supercritical technology. Then combustion process means how much amount of air required to burn fully 1 kg of fuel or 1 meter cube of fuel because to produce electricity, we need some input energy. The input energy in the form of thermal or hydro mostly. So thermal energy means burning of the fuel, can be diesel, can be coal, can be gas. Depend upon the fuel, depend upon the input energy, power plants are classified. Conventional, non-conventional type, renewable, non-renewable type. Suppose if you use coal, that power plant is called thermal power plant. If you use water as working substance, that is called hydroelectric power plant. In our state, Telangana state, we have two kinds of major power generation plants. One is thermal power plant, second is hydroelectric power plant, hydro power plant simply. So our syllabus is focused on both thermal and hydro type. Apart from this, what are other possibilities of power generation? Electricity produced, we need some input power. That can be a coal, thermal, that can be oil, that can be nuclear, that can be gas, like that. Otherwise, say renewable type, nothing but solar and hydro type or biogas, any other kind, but not for mass production. To produce mass production electricity, mostly commercially successful is thermal power but expensive. When compared to thermal power, hydro power is cheap. Operation cost is very negligible, mega value, right. So like that, we have a syllabus, a newly incorporated syllabus is quality management with reference to environmental protection. Now, nowadays, pollution is the problem. So keeping in mind this, every new plant supposed to meet the quality management with respect to environmental protection. Before starting production, before, say, commissioning of the plant, one should have the forestation, say, planting greens, like that. So there are remedies, there are existing plants, we have remedies, new plants, we have proposals to protect our environment. That syllabus is included. So most important topic is power up plant economics. How much power produced, how much charges we have to make. So power tariff, in Telugu law, uh, what we say, collecting the revenue every month, unit-wise. One unit electricity means kilowatt hour. One kilowatt power consumed in one hour is called kilowatt power. So that we are going to deal. Load factor, capacity factor, so average power generation per year, diversity factor, like that we have different factors. So that we can compare 
power plants selection in order to optimize in order to make the low investment low revenue low inputs less money involved quality power with cheap power is produced so end customer can have the lower cost power supply so that is called power e plant economics this is also very very important capital cost investment on fixed charge break even point operating cost arrangement for the power distribution load curves i am going to discuss load curves every time for all the branches numerical questions possible from this subject that to load curves maximum demand <coughs> sorry demand factor sentiment also you have to accept it okay when i read demand factor and all so possibility average load load factor diversity factor and other environmental considerations which are discussed with the quality management also apart from this new syllabus incorporated is power plant components their theory and types and applications so this syllabus is made into toc table of content like this i have made into 11 chapters we have already launched the say online say records which you can buy which you can have it that say some subscription is there a minimum amount only now further what are the new syllabus that next week i am going to incorporate in that existing uh, online records okay so battery and uses for some other say mechanical people that i will include here now quality management with reference to environmental that one the nuclear power plant also included already only two sub topics hardly less than a 45 minutes one hour work is there quality management with reference to environment and power plant components in depth okay i have discussed it there also still it is identified so 11th and 8th one i am going to introduce uh, more emphasis on this because new topics now let us see what is power plant engineering power plant engineering means it is a process of producing electricity producing electrical energy by using some other energy as input our output is electrical energy our input is some energy some kind of energy that can be fuel energy that can be hydraulic energy that can be wind energy that can be nuclear energy that can be a gas turbine gas turbine gas nuclear coal oil this all comes under thermal only other than thermal hydro water example nagarjun sagar sri salem jura pideshan jorala project and pulichantala so hydro power plants pertaining to telangana state this side we can say right side so attached with andhra pradesh pideshan jorala plant sri salem nagarjun sagar and pulichantala pulichantala is recently installed one few years back so 120 megawatt capacity so power for the telangana state and water for the ap state the um, prakasham barrage okay power consumption power utilization ap power generation telangana state that is how pulichantala is made then other than that thermal power plants we know very well ntpc ramagundam say manuguru then palavancha like that we have important thermal power plants i am going to display so it is a sri salem nagarjun sagar these are treated as modern temples modern temples so these are the multi purpose projects where across the river dam is constructed so multi purpose means irrigation purpose drinking water and power generation even tourism and fisheries these are five activities we can say multi purpose power generation irrigation sometime even future navigation also then uh, say tourism like that we have multi purpose nagarjun sagar is multi purpose now in our telangana state pochem padu sri ram sagar project also producing around 36 megawatt so like that Pideshan Jorala is also good enough to produce hydropower. So there are 
three kinds of power plants in Telangana. Dharmar power plant, hydroelectric power plants, then uh, renewable energies like wind, solar, gas also. Gas, I think, for last two years, some technical issues, they stopped, Sankrampalli, okay? So, we'll discuss hydro power plants. As I said, Nagarjan Sagar, 815 megawatt. These are megawatts. Say, Nagarjan Sagar, left canal, left canal, power plant, left canal. Say, along the Kalan, we can produce power, 60 megawatt. Sri Salem, left bank, 900 megawatt. Pochampar, 36, as I said. Singur, 15. From here to Singur, hardly 80, something, 75, 80, 80 kilometers from Hyderabad, Singur, where water scheme we have, that system. Apart from the water supply to the city, there is a provision of Kaplan turbine to produce electricity, hydropower, that is 15 megawatt. So, this side, left side, left wing of the Telangana. So, Paleru, Pedda, Pedda, Pedda Palli, Pulichintala, as I told you, 120 megawatt. Lower Jorala, Jorala, say Edwards also 234. Then Dumai Gudam, then Janapadu, na, say Nagajana private works, these are the. So these are the private uh, power generations. Even KC Canal also, they initiated nowadays. So Kumbram Beam also, this one initiated small power plant. These are called micro hydro power plants. MH, micro hydro power plants. Then Sitama Sagar, Samaka Sagar. These are proposals, okay? These are propo the last three Kumbram Beam. Samaka Sagar, Sitaram Sagar, these are the proposal hydro power plants. Those who are recruiting, they are going to work there only. Okay, very clearly. Last three, 16, 17, 18 are under construction. Not yet production started. Remaining 15 power plants, hydro power started. So, this is Dharmal power plant, Jaipur, Dhamar Charla, Palavancha, Manguru, Ramagandam. These are six places where large amount of Dharmal power plant is produced. Six places, right? See, this is the say, Telangana map. So these are the total six plus last three proposal. Total nine Dharmar power plant, say, producing, right? Ramagundam, Kottagudam, say, NTPC, they have similar name, Singarani also, Badrachalam, Telangana super power, Yadagiri. So, Adadri and all proposals. Adadri, then uh, Ramagundam nearby this one. Last three proposal projects yet to be produced power. So solar power also is not at uh, using, just under construction only. So, so these are these two from the Karnataka state, near Rajur, I think so, okay? So remaining all under Dharmara Pair Solar, Ramagundam, these are the proposals, solar plants, 40, 50 acres, uh, say, they have taken into uh, this one, panel erections, this is under construction, not yet produced. So, Power plants, thermal hydro mass production, remaining undergoing construction future. So around total, around total 2500 megawatt uh, hydro power capacity we have. 6000 above megawatt. So maximum contribution from thermal only, but expensive. Hydro power is cheap. So maintenance cost is low. These are the questions appeared in the exam. So gas power plant is there, but not at present under use. Okay, Shankaram Palli gas power plant is there, but not used but because of technical problems, not, one, not at use. So, mass production point of view, thermal and hydro only under action, right. This is a common syllabus. Many people, our, our aspirants are asking some doubts. The syllabus is common to all the branches. Paper setting, Different questions, different. I'm teaching for triple E, which is common for all the branches. Take it granted, right? So now, basics of power generation. Now, this is reference to electrical engineering. Okay, almost same, 90 percent. Terminology may change. We want to produce power generation. What power generation? Electricity. So this is electrical generator. The people say alternator. This is called electric generator. Three phase. So we need to produce electricity. This is called electricity. Alternating current, electrical power. 
to produce electrical power, a shaft power is required. This is called shaft power. Shaft power, okay? Shaft power is required. When shaft is rotating inside the magnets, north pole, south pole, when magnetism is cut, magnetic field is cut, EMF, electromotive force is produced. We know that electrical, lens law, okay, Faraday's laws and all. When magnetic field, flux density cut by the conductor, EMF, nothing but electromotive force, nothing but voltage produced. To produce electricity, we need shaft power. To produce shaft power, what are options? So these are the options. This is the optional power input. Optional, optional powers. The power can be here, thermal power, mass production, maximum contribution thermal only, more than 60 percent thermal. Second is hydro power plant. Third is renewable energy like solar, wind energy, not at used by the Telangana state. So Telangana state as on today, we have thermal power plants and hydro power plants. More hydro power, number of stations hydro power plant, but the capacity is around 2500 megawatt, whereas thermal is around 6000 plus, okay. So thermal is more contribution. Advantage of thermal is, so mass we can produce as and when you required. Throughout you can produce. We need water, we need coal, that's it. Whereas hydro power plants, only rainy season can produce electricity. Only rainy season we can produce electricity. Depend upon the water collected, depth of water, okay. So this is option. So that means what? This is input. This is output. In between process is going on. Converting thermal energy into mechanical energy. Mechanical energy into electric energy. This is the logic, right? So the main primary power is thermal power in the form of say coal, oil and natural gas, any other fuel, diesel also. A small plants, we can use diesel also, decentralizing purpose, right? So for mass production, thermal. Then renewable energy is like nothing but wind, solar, geothermal, hydro power. Hydro power is the best. Initial cost is more. Constructing a dam, installing a power plant, expensive and more time it consume. But operation cost is low. When compared to thermal, thermal power plant, one unit, one unit electricity, unit of electricity, electrical energy measured in terms of kilowatt hour. To produce kilowatt hour, thermal is expensive, around 10 rupees, 12 rupees like that. Hydro power is 2 rupees. Now it may be increased like the plus or minus, right? When compared to all, solar is cheap, but mass production is not possible. Seasonal effect, when sun is not there, solar energy is not there, then you cannot produce it. Whereas thermal is 100 percent sure. Reliable power at cost. Second priority is hydro power. At least in a year, we can run four or five months comfortably. Navajan Sagar, Sri Salamandal. When good rents, good water collection, to produce electricity, Cheaper is now compared to thermal hydro, prefer hydro, non-pollution also, multi-purpose also, anyhow, okay. So compared to thermal, cheap is hydro. Compared to hydro, solar is cheap, but mass production is not possible. Right, see, there are two kinds of power generations. One is non available second is renewable, okay. So fuels, coal, these all, gas, nuclear energy, these all are non-renewable. Renewable means wind energy, hydro power, like the geo, any gas and all, biomass and all, okay. So technically, mass production is demand, go for thermal. Or small towns, small factories purpose, you can use other, say, direct conversions by using solar, by using wind energy. We have wind power at the uh, Anantapur district. When you travel from Hyderabad to Bangalore, we can find wind power also. So these are the classifications only because basics. Mass production point of view, Telangana state, NTPC, Ramagundam. Good enough uh, electricity produced. This is the area you have the NTPC power plant, right? So now, what are the basics? I want to discuss 
for chapters as much as possible with, re with reference to time constraint. Then at the end, I am going to discuss multiple choice questions which appeared in the competitive examination, triple E examination, right. Basics of power generation. Power plant is a place, power plant is a place where electricity is produced, electrical power is produced for which we need some components to have the shaft power, to have the mechanical power, we need some inputs. The inputs can be hydropower, inputs can be thermal power, right? So, we need to have input power. Input power options are there, thermal input power, idle, in the thermal gas, coal, any other means, nuclear and all, say solar, wind, anything, whatever it is. Yes. Now, from this, we are producing shaft power, P shaft, shaft power, power shaft. This power shaft is connected to electrical generator. Electrical, electrical generator. And power is trans being transmitted. So, what contribution we are going to deal? When you go here, 100 kilowatt hour, you may produce here 90 kilowatt power. The so, overall efficiency is equal to output by input. Output is 90 kilowatt, input is 100 kilowatt. So, efficiency 90 percent. Recent examination given question is, there are n number of components efficiency of the boiler, efficiency of the turbine, like that efficiency of generator. When such case, multiply all the efficiencies of the components involved, you will get the overall efficiency. That type of question appeared. Efficiency of the boiler, 90 percent. Efficiency of the turbine, 90 percent. Efficiency of the generator, 90 percent. So, like that. So, overall efficiency, is equal to efficiency of the component in series, product of the efficiencies of the components in series. I paid question for the triple E examination. 0 0.9 boiler efficiency in thermal power plant, 0 0.9 90 percent efficiency of the turbine and 90 percent efficiency of the electrical. 0 0.9 into 0 0.9 into 0 0.9, 0 0.9 into 0 0.9, 0 0.81, multiply 0 0.9, 0 0.7273. Overall efficiency is 73 percent. By increasing intermediate component efficiencies, we will get all efficiency, better efficiency. That is called optimization. So, these are the basics, right. Now, the input, input power, options, thermal power, hydraulic power, Hydro power, right? Thermal power plant components, their sequence. Hydro power plant components, their sequence. These are the most dominating questions. So, Manaki, any one of multiple choice questions, Chesna, Mano recent Jushin examinations, a Kanabunta Chaptanano, better focus on standard syllabus and a standard way of preparation. Thousands of questions practice without concept, then it is not good enough to crack the examination. What my observation, what my suggestion is to prepare as per syllabus, basics of, high, basics of power generation, very clear. To produce electricity, we need some shaft power. To produce shaft power, we need some input power. Input power can be thermal, can be hydro. These are the two major things. When come to thermal power plant, what are the components? of the thermal power plant. What are the components of hydro power plant? Damn sure questions. In the thermal power plant, after study the components, we want to discuss combustion process, burning of the fuel underneath of the boiler. To produce heat, fuel has to be burned. For which we need oxygen or air. Oxygen present in the air, so, air. so that calculations are there. 
as a second unit or third unit like that we are going to discuss. When come to the Dharma power plant, so there are three new words incorporated in the syllabus latest. Steam power plants with reference to subcritical, critical and supercritical technology. So many our previous students through WhatsApp, whatever it, they inquired me, then I said today attend and listen this. Traditional conventional thermal power plant olden days people used, we will discuss then, people used boiler. The first primary component of thermal power plant is boiler. From the boiler to turbine. This is called steam turbine. From the steam turbine, shaft power is produced, rotated power, 2 pi n t by 60, that power, shaft power, rotational power. This is coupled with electrical generator, that is called alternator, synchronous generator, right? This is called electrical generator, electrical alternator. That is separate subject, we have electrical machines and power transmission like this, okay. The exhausted steam goes to the condenser. This is called steam condenser. So I want to discuss outlines of the syllabus only. We are not going to expertise everything within this prescribed schedule time. But awareness, outlines of the syllabus, how the old question papers appeared, right? Solutions, detailed solutions. Then from the steam condenser, the collected hot water in the hot well. This is called hot well. This is a steam. Here we are going to discuss critical, subcritical, supercritical concept. And this we are using here pump to pump the water into the boiler. Here furnace, here fuel, fuel burn, okay. Now, 1, 2, 2 steam generation, 1, 2, 2 steam generation process, 2, 2, 3 power generation process, shaft power and 3, 2, 4 electricity, okay, that is electricity produced and 3, 2, 4 we are taking condensation, converting wetted steam into water save water is called feed water. Feed water to pump the feed water into the boiler. So 1 to 2 steam generation, 2 to 3 power generation, then 3 to 4 steam condensation converting the wetted steam into hot water, hot water being pumped to the boiler again. This is called thermal power plant. It works on the thermo cycle, rank in cycle. The rank in cycle by using some supercritical technologies, we can improve the efficiency. 30 to 45 percent efficiency can be improved. More efficiency can be improved further, further. Critical, supercritical, subcritical means the condition of the steam produced, so and so pressure, so and so temperature. So like that I am going to discuss. So recent syllabus words used, steam, this is called steam power plant. This is called steam power plant. Right? Now, let us see. Supercritical, subcritical, then critical. Supercritical means the power plant use the steam with the condition of 170 bar with 540 degrees centigrade. You can raise questions, sir, 100 degrees centigrade is enough uh, to produce steam also. But they maintained high pressure. Higher the pressure, higher the temperature. Lower the pressure, lower the temperature at which water convert into uh, say gases form. So low pressures cavitation problem, high pressures good enough producing steam, more heat energy produced, more heat energy called enthalpy, total heat content, it's a pure mechanical technical word. So more pressure, more temperature, P proportional to T according to Charles law, we have Charles law, Boyle's law type, na? 
So according to Charles law, more pressure, more temperature, more heat content. Water temperature 5, 500 degree centigrade at 170 bar is called subcritical. Supercritical means 340 degrees means critical at 218, 218 bar for that one atmosphere comparison, 218 times atmosphere pressure. One atmosphere is one bar, one atmosphere pressure is one bar if you take our atmosphere is one bar, the pressure is 170 and 540. Supercritical means 250 bar and 600. See efficiency more, 38 percent. See efficiency almost reaching 40 to 45 percent. When you come to the, keep in mind, questions possible. 170 bar, 540 degree centigrade is called subcritical. 240 bar, 600 centigrade is called super. Now, next. Critical point means the condition of the steam at a critical point. Critical temperature, critical pressures are like this, 374 and 218 bars. So 218 bar this, you can say 218 bar. So 374 degree centigrade, okay. So pressures critical below subcritical, pressure above critical, supercritical, okay. Say previous 170 bar subcritical, 220 or 218 bar critical and more than that 250 bar is called supercritical. So more efficiency can produce and effective utilization and see last point you see all these power plants by using critical, subcritical, supercritical, environmental friendly power generation and lower carbon, lower, lower carbon monoxide production. So environmental impact is there. So people preferred super, say critical power plants because high pressure maintained in the boiler, high temperature means high enthalpy. Enthalpy means total heat content, heat capacity of the steam like this. So we have discussed this. So now let us see. Second option is hydro power plant, hydro power plant. Thermal we discussed boiler, steam turbine, electrical generator, then condenser, hot well, pumping. These are the components. And we have additional components, superheater, economizer, air free heater, we will discuss in the main course, okay. This is outlines of the syllabus to make the student where to focus. Focus is to be on the thermal power plant, focus is to be on the hydro power plant. Now we have discussed thermal power plant, main components, boiler, steam turbine, electrical generator, steam condenser, hot well, pump. When come to the hydro power plant, this is many people familiar, it is a friendly environmental not affected power plant. The initial investment is more, thermal also, hydro also. Thermal power plant advantage is continuous electricity production possible if you have water and thermal coal. Whereas hydro power plant is not sure throughout the year, particularly South India. Because not sure about the depth of the water, to produce electricity, we preferred hydro where water is available, that too in the form of high head, more potential energy. To produce electricity, we preferred hydro power for which we need hydraulic energy. Hydraulic energy means potential energy, MGH. Input energy is Potential energy, mass flow rate, mass flow rate, how many kgs of water per second going? How many kgs of water per second flowing? G, 9.81, acceleration due to gravity locally, 9.81 meter per second. H is the head, head of water is measured from here to the center of the turbine, we can say. This is called H. More the head, more the power possible more amount of water collected and here electricity produced, here electrical generator. So in order to have the overall efficiency, output power is say electrical power or shaft power, whatever it is and input power is hydro power. If we have cheap input power, cheap input power, the cost of power generation is low, definitely. So cheap is solar, but economical, no doubt cheap, but mass production is not possible. Whereas 
thermal and hydro commercially viable we are using them compared to thermal hydro power is cheap because no input cost just dam constructed water stagnated and head of water is increased power generation so nature gift na and no environment impact also so the input power is the input power is mgh where m is mass flow rate that can be converted into that can be converted into mass density of the water into discharge q is called discharge the water flow in this is q volumetric meter q per second i am sure people will get question this time power generation how much this is called output power okay so preferable question attractive question is this also a exhibit a sketch showing the hydro power previous one is a good enough the first component is dam reservoir second component is penstock pipe and surge tank in examination surge tank is given for electrical electrical department electrical engineering also surge tank is a, a one component mounted on the penstock pipe to arrest the water hammer water hammer is a phenomena when gate is suddenly closed the back flow the back pressure causing impact on the pipe life to avoid the sudden rise in pressure to avoid the sudden rise of the pressure inside the penstock that causes breaking of the penstock pipe to avoid it surge tank is used we will discuss in other course in detail just i am giving outlines of the syllabus with reference to available question banks question bank for the triple e batch okay surge tank is one component water tank mounted on the penstock pipe to reduce the water hammer effect such that pipe called penstock pipe life is protected not bursted because of the pressure control the excess pressure developed in the pipe is called surge tank then power house power power transmission right this is our another view input is reservoir dam pen penstock pipe then power generation mostly power generation's point of view bottom side water turbine prime mover top is electrical generator if you visit any power plant we can see these conditions okay from the electrical generator power is produced what my intention is question is like this possible question is like this a hydro power plant having hydro power plant having data is this volumetric flow rate volumetric flow rate volumetric flow rate say 100 meter cube per second head of water head of water means vertical distance from the free surface of the reservoir water reservoir to the center line of the power plant or the tail end of the plant that head can be also 1000 meters take the acceleration due to gravity g value assume for simplicity for simplicity 10 meter cube per second 10 meter per second square then power hydro power is equal to water power is equal to as we discussed mass flow rate into g into h rate of potential energy potential energy nothing but mgh rate means per second this can be converted into rho q m dot is rho q h so this type of question my personal choice for everybody electrical people thousand is the density of the water rho is called density manam telugu lo sandrata antamu rare ga vaartaru density of water density of water sandrata 1000 kg per meter cube means 1 meter cube volume 1000 kg is occupied g value 
Q value 100, head also 100. So, this can be divided into how many, say here 3 zeros, here 3 zeros. So, 100 into 10 to the power of 6 watt, say 100 megawatt power. So, this type of question, take it granted. Power generation, for AAA people, this question can be expected. Efficiency given, then what is output power? 100 megawatt, efficiency is 80 percent. What is the output power of the plant? That can be done. Note down, you are interested. So, I am focusing on the general discussion we will discuss at the end. So, I am focusing on subject progress for the triple E people. Those who are attending other than triple people can enjoy this knowledge. Then overall efficiency is equal to output power unknown in megawatt divided by input power we have discussed 100 megawatt. Suppose say overall efficiency given 80 percent, 0 0.8 is equal to output power P output divided by input power 100 megawatt. Therefore, output power is equal to 80 megawatt. You have invested 100 megawatt input and output is 80 megawatt. This type of question possibility. When you summarize for electrical engineering people, overall efficiency is equal to output power by input power. Not outpatient, not inpatient. OP is output power, IP is input power, not outpatient, inpatient, technical over terms of the hospitals, right? So, output power is electricity, maybe shaft power, maybe electrical power. Input is hydro power, water power. So, this question can be possible. Efficiency not mentioned. Students can assume 100 percent efficiency, one. Output power is equal to input power. So, this type of question, possibility more, keep in mind, okay, like this. Now, like this, we have various topics we will discuss. Now, keeping in mind the time factor, we will discuss power economics also. Power economics is very important. After deciding which power plant, can be thermal, can be hydro, yes. Next, before selecting, before choosing the power plant, government or any private organization can I have the yeah. yeah. So many doubts will definitely will respond to doubts. Okay, different doubts. Now, power economics are my interest because we have discussed the general basics. Second one is thermal power plant, third one is hydro power plant, combustion is the chemical reaction C plus C, what like that, amount of air required. Then input power can be nuclear, can be gas, can be. Suppose if you take a gas turbine, if you take a gas thermal power plant, gas power plant, gas power plant means we need compressor, axial flow compressor. Compressor purpose is to take the air from atmosphere, compress it to high pressure. That air is here input entered. This is the one input. This is the output. Then here heat chamber, okay, heating, heater we can say combustion chamber, heat, heat supply, combustion chamber, combustion chamber where heat is produced means hot air is heat supplied, heat supplied, burning of the gas, presence of air, hot air. The hot air is transferred to gas turbine GT. Gas turbine produce mechanical power that goes to electrical generator EC then that goes to again 
heat exchanger heat is removed then that air can be used again to this like this right okay other you can throw into atmosphere also so four components for gas turbine plant compressor say combustion chamber gas turbine then heat exchanger you don't want to use the exchanger you can leave it you can throw air into the atmosphere only so major components compressor combustion chamber and turbine in place of gas turbine in place of say steam boiler we can use nuclear power nuclear is the energy produce heat to produce steam only in case of steam thermal power plant instead of using coal we use nuclear fission process nuclear power plant nuclear power plant also heat generation produce steam only so in place of input hydro power coal power gas power or nuclear power all meant for producing as input in the form of the, say potassium energy hydro here thermal in the form of heat and then to run the compressor we need coupling of the gas turbine to compressor to run the compressor compressor cannot run own to run the compressor some amount of power is taken from the gas turbine to run the compressor suppose gas turbine produce 100 kilowatt power 30 to 40 kilowatt only for running the compressor remaining amount for the remaining amount for the electrical generator purpose this is the way so now this also cleared thermal power plant inputs are clear Hydro power plant, okay. Let us say hydro power plant components. Hydro plant. We need dam. This is called dam. Spillway, Nagarjun Sagar, Sri Salem, Puluchentala, like that. So here, dam is constructed, right? Water is stagnated here this is called reservoir now this is called penstock penstock is nothing but a pipe steel pipe okay now here somewhere we use that this water we are using the color we change the color like this okay. now this is called surge tank Now, here we have the power plant. This is called power plant. Inside the power plant, we have the turbine. This is turbine. Then exhausted water goes to tail end. This is tail rise. The water like this. So, power generation here here power is generated and electrical generator produce electricity so these are the major components of the hydro power plant right the blue color for the water this one transmission okay now each component important functions applications and all in the mainstream we'll discuss now we are going to discuss power plant economics very very interesting see now power plant engines let us see some questions afterwards we'll discuss that also let us see what is turbine a few questions from the previous examinations because keeping in mind time so i want to focus on the previous year questions triple e genco turbine is a machine turbine is a device this is called turbine Water turbine, water turbine. Say water turbine. It can be thermal turbine, it can be steam turbine, it can be gas turbine, it can be wind turbine, anything. But water turbine, point of view, this is input. Input is water power, hydro power. Output is electrical power. This is output or mechanical power, shaft power. So turbine is a device which converts 
హైడ్రాలిక్ పవర్ ఇంటూ మెకానికల్ పవర్ హైడ్రాలిక్ ఎనర్జీ ఇంటూ మెకానికల్ ఎనర్జీ ఆప్షన్ ఏ ఏ ఆప్షన్ ఈజ్ కరెక్ట్ వాటర్ టర్బైన్ కన్వర్ట్స్ హైడ్రాలిక్ ఎనర్జీ ఇంటూ మెకానికల్ ఎనర్జీ మెకానికల్ ఎనర్జీ ఇంటూ హైడ్రాలిక్ ఎనర్జీ పంప్ అదర్ ఆప్షన్స్ కైంటిక్ ఎనర్జీ ఇంటూ మెకానికల్ ఎనర్జీ దట్ కెన్ బీ ఏ ఏ కైండ్ ఆఫ్ మిషన్ బట్ వీ ఆర్ యూజింగ్ హైడ్రాలిక్ ఎనర్జీ నీడ్ నాట్ బీ కైంటిక్ ఎనర్జీ ఎస్ ఇట్ కెన్ బీ విండ్ మిల్ విండ్ మిల్ నా విండ్ మిల్ ఎలక్ట్రిక్ ఎనర్జీ ఇంటూ మెకానికల్ ఎనర్జీ సీలింగ్ ఫ్యాన్ టేబుల్ ఫ్యాన్ లైక్ దట్ this is called fan so all the four options try to learn something from the competitive examinations should not leave the remaining options then based on the head of water turbines are classified head turbine high head turbine more than 250 meters pelton wheel 30 meters to 250 meters medium head francis turbine less than 30 meters Kaplan turbine, propeller turbine. Let us see this. H is more than 250 meters I head. Water turbine. Example, Pelton wheel. Head is less than 250 meters. More than 30 meters. is called medium head example francis turbine head is less than 30 meters low head turbine examples kaplan turbine propeller turbine right Le this is head is more than 250 meters na this is 32 30 meters to 250 meters this is less than 30 meters so up to 25 meters is called kaplan turbine answer c answer c yes Next, Pelton wheel, this, this type of questions appeared. Na? Pelton wheel is a high head low discharge. High head low discharge. Correct, but low specific speed. High head low discharge, low specific speed. Correct. Specific speed is one word. Technically, used to select the turbine. Speed of the turbine, power generated by turbine, head under which it works. This is called specific speed. Kaplan turbine classified as I head, I head, low discharge, low specific speed, tangential impulse type turbine. Answer D. Pansy's turbine is inward flow reaction turbine. Inward flow reaction turbine. Yet to be discussed in the propeller turbine, nothing but low head axial flow turbine. So, classification of water turbines, damn sure question. Power in which appeared, what we written now, Ns is equal to N into root P by H to the power of pi by 4, where P is called shaft power. Where P is called shaft power. So, Pelton will degree of reaction, zero. Degree of reaction, zero means there is no pressure drop. There is no no pressure drop, no pressure drop in the Pelton wheel. So, degree of reaction is zero. Pressure drop is there, the degree of reaction will be there. Francis turbine, Kaplan turbine, Francis turbine, Kaplan turbine, propeller turbine will have degree of reaction. So, Pelton wheel, no pressure drop, working in open atmosphere. Degree of reaction is zero. B answer. Right. 4 bay, a technical word is used. 4 bay means it is a pondage. This is the river, right? Suppose this is the river. Your dam is constructed. This is called reservoir. This is called downstream. This is upstream. Now, this is the reservoir. 
water is drawn, then here 4 bay, 4 bay is this is penstock, it goes to the power plant, 4 bay is a pondage man made reservoir, input is power channel, this is called power channel, water channel, power canal, power channel, this is penstock. 4 bay is junction, at the junction of the power channel and the penstock. 4 bay is at the junction of the power channel and penstock pipe, that is the question. 4 bay in hydro power plant provided at the junction of the power channel and penstock. This type of questions, yes, see, this is the main river, this is the river. This is the river upstream, this is downstream, this is the dam, this is the power channel, this is the penstock, this is 4 bay. 4 bay is the pondage at the junction of the power channel under the penstock. So, written this 4 bay is a reservoir forms connection between the power channel under the penstock. It also serves as reservoir to store water. When hydro power plant located at the base of the dam, 4 bay is required to store the water. Nagarjan Sagar does not have that type of 4 bay. Say where the water shortage, where the seasonally water is not that much, people use that. So, 4 bay is a temporary or small pond useful for the power generation input. Which hydro power plant can work without pondage? Without pondage runoff river plant. Runoff river plant means Runoff river plant means without any dam construction, just with minimum water supply, just a turbine is placed in the river during flood season, it runs. Let us see other questions. So, I want to discuss the power economics, yes, power plant economics. Power plant economics means the power generated in the plant, a graph is drawn with reference to time scale, x axis time, y axis power generation, load curves. From the load curves, we are going to discuss average load position, load factor, diversity factor, other factors. So, as per my personal experience, we need one more session to continue this, okay. Now, like this, this is power generation, we are going to discuss this, a calculation also, we have the questions also. So, I have the questions, previous questions, different, different, different questions I collected, okay. So, we will take another session uh, after one, two days later, okay. So, as per the schedule, make now, it is time to stop here. This session will be continued in one more session, that time we will discuss other topics also, okay. Now, time being, I am stopping here, it is not concluded syllabus. See the questions, how the questions, how to make boiler specification. Boiler is the primary component of the thermal power plant. How do you specify boiler? Boiler is specified by how much amount of steam produced per hour, kg per hour, that much amount of steam produced per hour, like that. So, there are questions, interesting questions, old papers questions, reheating and all, gas turbine and all. I am going to discuss, okay, what is diaphragm like that, okay. So, how the hydroelectric power plant? Hydroelectric power plant maintains cost, operation cost low and initial cost is more, like that. A function of fudge tank to reduce the water hammer, like this. And what is the efficiency of the Rankine cycle, 30 to 45? Like that, we will discuss in other section with the balance syllabus, okay. Thank you, Anandal. There will be another session also after 3-4 days, keep in mind that, timely we will announce that.